This is day two. Day two of uh, the part we installed. We got an alignment done. It was Sunday night, as you can see in the video, it got kind of dark, so we had to leave the car. I went over there, picked it up, and I drove the car. Several things happened, and uh, I will tell you right now what happened. Uh, is the car open? Yeah. No, it's not. And I'm gonna show you a few things that were done, or they need to be done today. And part of that, is the steering wheel right here is upside down so we're gonna do this we're gonna do this we're gonna straighten this thing out another thing is another thing too is uh, when I was driving this vehicle home I was on the highway I was going about 70 miles per hour in the highway and out of out of sudden the seat broke Check this out. The seat broke while I was driving on the highway. All the way back. Look at this. I could have I could have killed myself yes driving this car. Um lucky for me is I had two hands on the steering wheel, so when the seat broke, I was holding on to the steering wheel. And lucky for us, we bought some seats and that's what we're gonna do today. <laughs> Get out the car. We're gonna be installing these seats today. So we got uh, the brackets needed. I'm gonna show you this. But, but before we do that, I gotta take this car out, make some space. All right, we got the two seats that we're gonna install. This seat right here has the brackets already installed to them. As you can see when I come this way these have the seats right here the, the brackets now this bracket right here needs to be installed to this seat now when we got these is missing hardware we got these screws that we need to go to the store and buy so that should be easy now we got the seats now we need the brackets these are the brackets that we're gonna use to install the seats on the car pretty quick I think it took three days to get them once they were ordered and bam just knife away bracket number one Now, we got the two seats, we got the brackets, but we need the hardware now to attach them to these. So that's what we're gonna go get. Okay, we're gonna head out now to uh, Lowe's and buy some screws for the seat brackets. Okay, we kept the blow. Okay, we kept the blow. Kept Found the screws. We're gonna go home and install the seats. And he has a hoodie on, so he wants me to turn the AC. So I'll see you back at the garage. Okay, guys, we went to Lowe's. We went to Lowe's, and we took we took the hardware we needed to uh, install the the brackets. So basically, we took these. This is a spacer. Let me show you right here. This is the spacer that goes between the seat and the sliders. So we couldn't find them. So what we did was, here, show right here. We couldn't find them. So what we did is we bought nuts. They're about the same. They're close to the size. And these are the screws that are going to go from the seat to the slider. 
and this is the spacer right here so it's gonna work perfect <laughs> it's gonna work perfect okay we got washers as well <laughs> we got the washers so we got everything we needed so what I'm gonna do now is uh I'm gonna finish installing the bracket I, I took some hardware off so I can have example of what to buy in Lowe's and what I'm gonna do now is finish that one and put the sliders on that one so we install the brackets the sliders these are the sliders now we're gonna mount the brackets to the slider and once uh, the brackets are installed here it'll be very easy to put them back in the car so that's what we're gonna do now oh show them the show them again this is what we're gonna do so we got the long screws we got the washers and we got the the I think they call it nylon the nylon nuts so that way they don't they're not gonna come out with vibration or anything like that so we don't have to wor worry about them being loose so we're gonna do that now Alright, I'm gonna use a 14 millimeter to take the seats off. Let's see how they're gonna look once we take them off. Alright, seat one taken off. Let's see how the seat's gonna look. Not that bad, right? All right, now we're gonna take seat number two. Driver's seat, the one that broke on me on the highway. Man, you're going 70 miles per hour and this happens to you. Not good. So I already put the brackets. I already know where they're gonna go. So this is the, this is the passenger side. And the driver's side install. Okay, the bracket goes this way, right? On the seat. So what we do is we're gonna invert it and put it on the seat. This way. So once we install this, we're gonna show you how it's gonna look. Uh, okay, we have a kind of a situation. We have the right brackets for the car. They fit perfectly, they align, everything's good. But the brackets are like two inches too shorter. They're not for the seats that we have. And the other problem is we kind of like dry tested. We we mounted the brackets. We put the seats on. I'm the I'm the smallest one in the house uh, that's gonna be driving in the car, and I barely fit. I know my son's not gonna fit in it. Definitely didn't fit. So we're gonna return these. The seats look really good inside the car, but. Fortunately, we can't we can't keep them. So I'm gonna wrap these up again, send them back, and find other seats. Right, so these are these are the seats we got now for the car. These are a trade for the seats that didn't work out for this car. So we got a trade uh, for my S14 owner. He was very happy with the bucket seats. He was uh, looking for us, he was a welder. So he said he can do all the brackets, do everything himself. He was gonna fit in his car. And lucky for us, we got a trade that uh, it, fits, it fits pretty good with the car. So uh, later on, maybe we can get the seats that actually will fit for us. But very happy with the trade. Uh, these are the old seats again. And now what we gotta do is go to the mailbox and return these uh, brackets. Well, that's it for today. Uh, we returned the brackets and what we're gonna do now is wait for more parts to come in for our Nissan 240. Stay tuned for more builds and install. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you like the video, thumbs up please. And we'll see you on the next one.